monthly like every 15th of the month dapat my ending income would be 30k 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 So I already calculated how much I'm going I'm able to earn on a daily basis multiplied by how Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel if you are new. By the way, my name is Val and I do cash stuffing videos or I share my financial journey towards a being a financially stable or financially capable of my finances. So I started my journey when I was earning not so much because I have to budget, I have to finance and uh, I I did to have my own budgeting method because I'm I wanted to save more at the time but I don't know where to start it. Where to start. So that's why I am here. I'm sharing my personal experience, personal financial journey guys. Um so I share here my budget with me videos, cash stuffing videos, saving goals videos, and also some tips on what I've learned throughout that journey. So if that is something that you're interested towards your finances with your financial journey, then go ahead and subscribe to our channel. For today's video, guys, I'm going to cash stuff my income, first income, first paycheck for the month of March. So, di ba, ang sabi ko sa inyo, one snap lang, lilipad na tayo sa December. Parang kailan lang, di ba, nagka-cash stuff lang tayo for the month of January. And here we are in the month of March na, like, three months, two months na pala ang lumipas. And here we are. Alright, so, on the previous video, we did our money reset. Um, oh my god, I forgot to bring my highlight by the way i'm in my bedroom i'm not in my office i'm not in my um computer room to video this kasi maraming tao tapos yung kapitbahay namin nag-usap sila sa labas so it's too noisy for me to video this and this is a priority by the way for me anyways i'll do our budget planning so yeah let's start uh, I've been writing here my income goal is 30k so 30k is what I meant by monthly oh, sorry by yeah by monthly like every 15th of the month dapat my ending income would be 30k that's my income goal guys so um, my income for today, I think, 17500 Okay. And, I didn't earn for the TOC, affiliate, and YouTube. Not yet. So, my total here is 17500 which is what we're going to cash stuff today. So, here's my batik na wallet which my friend given to me let me just set aside this here we go so let's count one wait now so count mo na natin to one two three four five six seven so seven eight 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 500. So we have 17,500 to cash stuff for today, guys. So that's what we're going to do. Here's my <clears throat> cash binder. So... Some of you guys are new here or bago pa lang sa pagka-cash stuffing or pagka-cash no, cash, cash stuffing videos or paggamit ng cash envelope. May mabibili po nito sa Shopee and I'm going to link it in the description box below guys if you are interested. Now what we're gonna do is, this is my Starbucks planner previously and I'm just reusing it. So, yeah. 
And here's my budget. Let me pause a moment guys and before we continue for our video for today, I just wanted to let you know that I'm offering my financial journey um, template planner for free. So this is going to be a free download for you guys. All you have to do is just click down the link below where you can add your name, your email address where I can send this over for you. This is totally for free. I'm giving it out for you guys as a thing. Thank you for supporting my channel. The budget planner is the same planner that I'm using in all of my videos guys. So this one is very helpful to you since it's very helpful for me. So again, thank you and let's dive in back to the video. So I'm gonna do the depth, 1,500. I'm gonna do the 1,500 guys and then for the savings let's do that later on then for the grocery oh I still have 200 from the last one so let me just put it in sa ating roll over because why not, diba? Okay. So for the grocery, let's put 2K here. So that's the budget I have. Then for the allowance, I still have 550. So yes, we're gonna do that in the rollover. put it in there we go all right so for the allowance we have 3,701 let me just have the 500 one two three five seven okay what we're gonna do since wala tayong tag hundreds dito and I've seen sa ating rollover na meron tayo I guess hopefully aabot ito 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 yay! umabot umabot guys very good, very good, very good okay, here we go uh, so we're gonna do the 750 right there okay there we go so that's one, two, three, seven, fifty. All right. For those who are new here, guys, I'm not sure if naririnig yung mga aso ha, But for those who are new here, um, I have my own personal allowance where I totaled two hundred fifty each, two hundred fifty each month. I uh, sorry, two hundred fifty each per day. So I already calculated how much I'm going I'm able to earn on a daily basis multiplied by how many days before the next paycheck. So that's what that's my another tip for your personal allowance. Okay. I have a public transpo here which I am going to give to Mamshi the 500 and I have here 150 so I'm going to put it in the rollover okay so for the public transpo we're gonna have 500 okay 1000 there we go then for the vehicle i'm gonna put in 1000 in here there we go then for munchie i'm going to increase her medical allowance her own allowance mom she is my mother-in-law i'm giving her 2k each paycheck but i decided to increase it in 3000 so i hope na the more that i increase my expenses the more that na mag increase yung aking income so for the medical expense guys this is actually vitamins not medical this is vitamins itself so for the vitamins, I'm going to add 500 
and no i am not going to take out whatever it's in here it's it's saving so pag gusto kong para may pondo ako guys para may pondo ako for any vitamins or medicine so just in case na magkalagnat and i need to buy gamot or di kaya nagka allergy yung anak ko i have money in here to take out so we have the swimming which is 2200 swimming class for my eldest son so put it in here so medyo malaki laki din yung mga naipon ko dito because i don't know And then we have the miscellaneous, which is 500. There we go. And then for tuition, it's 15 and 750 plus 750. So that's 2250. And that is something na wala akong change. Yeah, I don't have a change. One, two. Lang ko lang 200. Let me see if meron tayong mga change dito. Let's see. Woohoo! 200. Let's see if meron. This is 200 then. Okay. Let's see a rollover. Wala. Credit card. 50 pesos. Wala. Wala, guys. Okay. So. Wait lang. Ano to? Oh, yeah. Nibigay ko pala itong machine na may. Uh, wala. Kulang ako ng 200. So, what I'm going to do. I'll just get that later. Two thousand two hundred fifty. Tapos for the budget of one two. Okay, so I guess yung two hundred ko po niyong na lang dito sa medical funds. There we go. Just gonna put it in. So, ano tayo ngayon? Na. Plus 1,200. So that's 7,200. But let me take down notes. So 200 goes to the education. Oh my god, wala na akong ink. Oh, di ba na ubus ko na yung ink. Maganda yung ano na to na ha. Na brand na pen. So, Mr. DIY. I think mura lang yan yung set. And then, sobrang ganda pa ng ano niya. Ng kanyang penmanship, guys. And, let's see, let's see what else. Miscellaneous. Did I put some 500 sa miscellaneous? Did I? Oo, naglagay na ako. So, yeah. So, next naman na gagawin natin is, oops, let's see. Yung next na gagawin natin, guys, is, I am going to count the rollover. Yung rollover, guys, I have a savings tracker in here. So, 900 na siya and the previews. So, yung rollover guys, is actually yung mga extra, extra money from my allowance, from anywhere or anything guys, dito ko nilalagay. And, yeah. Wait lang ha. 1. So, 900. So, 1,150. Oh, okay. Oh, God. Wala akong pen. Wait lang. Maghanap ako. 
Okay, I'm going to borrow this pen. 1,250. So, for the February, yung rollover, I'm going to plus 1,250. 2,150 yung total dito. Now, <clears throat> um, my practice is that 50% goes to the savings. So, and 1,000 is for whatever you wanted to buy. So, here. So, guys, after I look at the video, I don't know what happened. Bakit siya nag-stop. So, uh, just going back sa ating savings, guys. Yung ginawa ko is, uh, again, 50% goes to my savings. So, which is in the savings envelope here. And I wrote down in my notes savings 1000 and then after that what I did is yung sobra binayad ko dito sa credit card na sinwipe ko sa ating video so there we go and yeah I think that's about it guys so if you like this video please go ahead and click the like button click the notification bell so every time I will upload new cash stuffing videos or any financial videos you will get notified and if you have any family relatives who you think needed this kind of videos please go ahead and share this and if you have any questions please comment down below i would really gladly to answer them or to you know communicate with you and again i love you so much thank you so much for always always supporting my channel we are almost in the 700 subscribers so please help me reach out 1000 subscribers guys and yun lang thank you so much and i'll see you in our next video bye